Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Snapping Podcast. It's been a minute, but I am moved back and we are officially back on schedule. So I want to talk about a game that has been taking the world by storm, Helldivers 2. So this third person shooter released on February 8th for the PS5 and PC, and it is not slowed down in popularity, especially with the memes and social media content. People, me included, are loving the game and for all good reasons. Helldivers 2 does a great job of making its microtransactions extremely approachable. I'm telling you, you don't have to grind a thousand hours to get close to buying a skin or even have to shell out a ton of money just to get premium currency. You can do it all just by playing the game. Premium currency in Helldivers 2 can be obtained by playing the game and progressing through its rendition of a battle pass called a war bond. I don't even want to call it a battle pass. It does not feel like one. Within the Warbound rewards, you can unlock new weapons, armor, grenades, boosters, premium currency, and other items for free. There's also the premium Warbond you can buy with real money or with currency you can find throughout the game. So it's completely optional and just gives you the option to have another Warbond to progress through if you want to get even more items. The fact that even the additional premium Warbond can be bought with just playing games and earning in-game currency is astounding to me, especially in this day and age of live service games. I mean, we all saw what happened with the uh, launch of Suicide Squad. <clears throat> it goes to show how in tune Arrowhead the Helldivers developers are with the community. They've been really good at keeping players in the loop about updates and upcoming content. I mean, we got mechs early in the game too because of them encouraging us. The fact that they're able to encourage so many players to log on at once just to act towards one goal is incredible. Arrowhead definitely didn't expect players to liberate Tian Quan in one day, but they stayed true to their word and gave everyone access to the new exosuit mech the next day after the planet was freed. I'm not sure if people get the fact that this is incredible on the players and developers part. You put in the work and you get the reward as promised and on time, which is not normal in gaming right now. I really like Helldivers because it really gives you this sense of grand order. It's not just you against the world, but it's the world with you against the naysayers. Now, whether or not we're the bad guys, I listen, we, we won't get to that in this episode. But seriously, I wasn't even really interested in Helldivers until I realized how fun it is to be a part of this galactic war with your friends and fellow troops and see the number move up incrementally. 3% is still 3%. Every effort in vote counts, and it's really cool to see that in real time, especially when we were all playing to liberate Tian Quan to get our mechs. Seeing that number go from like 70% liberated to 98% within two hours was incredible, and that was all in real time. Honestly, the developers have just done such a great job of managing player expectations and keeping up with updating a live service game. It's only been a month, but it's only been a month, but they already have my trust in how they handle the future of Helldivers 2. They know how to keep things fresh, like changing the major orders every week and throwing in new little updates like the environmental storms and meteor showers to keep players on their toes. I genuinely feel like this game could be my multiplayer game of the year, and it's only March. Helldivers just inspires this feeling of encouragement, and it fuels me to keep on playing mission after mission. I know it can get a little bit repetitive, but I still have a lot of fun playing it. I also really like that you're kind of supposed to die a lot. I mean, the point of the Helldivers is to just be expendable soldiers. Super Earth throws out its enemies. And I kind of like it. It's refreshing. You're not this like super soldier. You're just a regular person. There's so much lore to the universe of Helldivers that I really want to dive into too. And I love these type of games that are so focused on the action, but also don't fail to deliver on its story and world building. It's really hard to get a good balance of that in any modern first or third person shooter. So CEO Johan Palstedt stated that Helldivers 2 was in development for eight years. Okay, so not perfectly eight years on the dot, it was a few days off, but that's still a long time to keep a game in development. But the work and passion really show in Helldivers 2. No, sweet liberty. No! The original Helldivers was a co-op twin stick shooter that was released in December 2015, and the game really holds up and you can see how the sequel only improved upon the original ideas and expanded on the gameplay. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna buy the game and play it in bed on the Steam Deck. The first one, I mean. If you look at Helldivers, you can see how much content is probably going to be added to Helldivers 2 and the map currently shows so much space for way more factions to be added. So I'm really excited for the future of Helldivers. Also, it's no surprise Helldivers 2 is topping the charts on Steam and is selling around 3 million copies. As of this recording, Helldivers 2 is the second most played game right now under Counter-Strike 2 with about 330,000 current players. 
Are you playing Helldivers? I would love to hear your thoughts on the game and what difficulty you've unlocked so far. I just unlocked Impossible and I'm working to unlock the last difficulty, Helldiver, which I'm sure after this last balance update is going to be actually impossible. I'm so sorry for the delay in episodes of Snap Aim Podcast. It has been a lot. As soon as I moved, I basically got sick, so that kind of delayed me in getting prepared with my new office space. But now I am back, so I will see you next week, bright and early on Monday for the next episode.